Welcome to our wood shop. This amazing room has so many awesome tools inside of it and using the things that I'm gonna show you in here, you can build anything that you might dream of. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of some of the power tools and supplies that we have in here that our students learn over the years how to use in a very creative way to build anything that they might be able to imagine. Okay, so when you first walk into the wood shop, you're gonna notice right over here by the doors, we've got our sort of safety station for everything that we need in the wood shop. And the big things that we ask students to use are gonna be these glasses or goggles to protect their eyes, and then the ear guards to protect our ears. These wonderful sort of like noise-proofing ear guards. They do a really great job in protecting our, our ears. We also have some different gloves over here in different sizes for students to use, adult gloves and kid gloves. These gloves just for kids are actually gardening gloves. We find they work really well for our students when they're learning how to hot glue um, or working with different kinds of wood in the shop. And these usually fit our four and five year old hands. I haven't been able to find any smaller ones than that. So you're going to see right away that next to every tool there is a little safety card that can tell you a little bit more about what the item is and what it's used for. And of course the dot that shows us what safety rating it has for the lab. So this is an example of a vise or a table mounted clamp. We've got the name of it, a photo of what some of our vice and clamps look like, and some information for students to read about using the tool safely. As we go on down the line of our power tool bench here, we've got our scroll saw. This awesome tool has a tiny blade inside of it, and that little blade is used to saw through some wood. This part of the machine blows a little bit of air across the surface to keep the dust off of where we're working so that we can see. It has this nice little finger guard here so that our fingers don't get too close to the machine while we're working. This is the perfect tool to use as you're maybe shaping different smooth curves into a smaller or thinner piece of wood. Next to this we have our bandsaw. The bandsaw is one of my favorite tools in the entire lab. There is a red dot associated with the bandsaw. We also need to have our safety glasses and our ear guards on when we're working with the bandsaw because it does make a good bit of noise. Um, but this tool works by running a saw blade around a belt and then the blade right here will cut through the piece of wood that we're pushing into the machine. We'll show you how that works a little later. The drill press is a tool that many of our students love. There's a handle here that helps lower the drill bit down into a piece of wood that's resting onto that platform. Right now we've got a planer bit set up on our drill bit. So this is used for drilling larger holes or a hole that has a point in the center of it. There's the safety card for the drill press. For our belt sander here, a pretty popular tool. As this is turned on, there's a piece of sandpaper that rotates here and a large piece of sandpaper that rotates here to sand down items. And finally, the big tool here on the end, definitely a red dot tool, is the miter saw. The miter saw is used, this rotating circular saw blade can drop down into a piece of wood that's resting on this platform and can cut into it. We can also turn the miter saw to work at different angles and it can make up to a 45 degree angle, which is called a miter cut in Woodworking. The battery operated tools we have hanging around the shop here. We've got a couple of cordless power drills. These can be fitted with different kinds of drill bits and screw bits to make holes and then put a screw into those holes. We've got our jigsaw up here at the top, which is a small hand saw blade. We've got a portable power sander that's pretty popular with students to use outside. A little vacuum system to help us clean up. We've got extra batteries that we store here and here, kind of plugged in. Batteries are green dots. We want students to use them and put them away safely. Also on the wall, we've got extra hammers. Got lots of little tools and supplies that go along with the power tool. So I like to have my extra scroll saw blades right here behind the scroll saw so that they're easy to access. They're ready to go in this clear bin. Everyone can see what's in there. No one's going to accidentally reach their hand in. Not only because it has a red dot, but you can see that there's a saw blade right in there. Some towels and things we use for staining. Over here above the saws, more handheld saws for us to use. And above the power sander, some handheld sandpaper for us to use. On the back wall of the shop, we keep all of our vices and clamps. 
So you can see these different kinds of clamps depending on the thickness of the wood that we're working with and portable vices. On this lower slat wall, we have some yellow and green hand tools for our students to come over and access as they need. There's one red dot tool over here and I'll show you what it is. We do train our students how to use it, but we still wanna make sure that they're only using it with safety gear on and near an adult or a teacher. So we have special kinds of glues here. This is meant for gluing wood together or sometimes super glues. We've got all of our screwdrivers, a set of tech screwdrivers that are tiny, for getting into smaller items, taking apart technology. Our X-Acto knives or box cutters, those are yellow dot tools in our lab but are very handy. We've got our tape measures, extra odds and ends like string, gloves, wooden dowels that are kind of expensive to buy so we keep them here in the wood shop but they're super handy when we're building cars and things. We've got some mini power drills for our youngest students to try and use, wrenches, Here's the red dot tool we keep in the wood shop. This is the only handheld red dot tool that we have. This is an awl. And an awl is used for making a hole in something like leather or uh, maybe cardboard. You're making a specific kind of hole. This is a pretty sharp tool. I've also used this with some of our kindergarten and first graders when making can lanterns by using the awl to tap a hole in a can, like canned good can that's been emptied and used before and then making a hole for their light to shine through with a lantern. Some scrapers, smaller hammers, these are great for our younger students to use. We've got all different kinds of pliers and then some metal files. The metal file is used as a planing tool to kind of really scrape off and sand some rounded corners on wood or to make some handmade shapes. And then these are really big glue sticks. These are for our Ryobi Tools battery operated contractor glue, which is to hold really, really heavy items to a wall. There's regular glue sticks too. And our glue stick station is always kind of in use, <laughs> but we've attempted to put these little hot glue holders to hold it here. And then a teacher will turn this on when students are ready to work. And then um, we'll come over here and give them a little training and then they're free to use the glue sticks after that, usually from first grade on up. 